going on? It's another video here working on the Yaris. Sorry, that was a shitty intro. I haven't really figured out intros yet. Uh, and I haven't really figured out this car yet either. So after the experience at Chuckwalla for the TRD series, it wasn't great on track and it was even worse on the drive home. Uh, I'm gonna take some time to just do a little bit of, you know, clean up, a little bit of maintenance, check some stuff and take it as an opportunity to update you guys on some of the things that are wrong with the car and hopefully by the end of this, fix them. And also, since we're really fighting balance with this car, I am gonna pull up the dash and start to look at anything that I can pull out of there that's not being used. So I'm gonna pull this up and see if I can do any of that today. We've also got an issue where it sounds like there's some air escaping somewhere in the system here. I think it's because there's not a, a good enough gasket between the throttle body and the intake, which also kind of makes sense with some of the things I was feeling moving around in the paddock when the when I was off throttle. I was like, it felt like it wanted to creep forward just a little too much. And if air was getting in and you know it was making power, maybe that's maybe that's what was going on. I don't know. But we're gonna try a new gasket here and uh, figure it out from there. The first thing we're doing is pulling off the front bumper cover and radiator support to get better access to the engine bay. I'm also gonna pull out the battery so that the ECU has another chance to relearn this new throttle. We're already making some progress. I pulled off the uh, uh, AC radiator because uh, we don't have an AC anymore. So I don't know why this has been on the car the whole time. Uh, basically just didn't realize it was part of the radiator when we took everything else off. So a little bit less weight, a little more air into the radiator, keep those coolant temps down. With the radiator clear, the next job is the throttle body. So we're gonna pull off our cold air intake to get access. Everything looks fine, so we're just gonna clean up the mating surface, but we can do a coolant bypass while we're doing this to keep the temperatures of the incoming air down. Next, we're gonna pull up the dash to find out where we can eliminate some weight from the car. Currently, the car sits at 2,264 pounds with me in it. So I'm hoping today we can find another 20-ish pounds to pull out of the front of the car. Okay, so here's where I'm at. The dash is 99.9% <laughs> taken apart. Uh, the guy I had installed the uh, tachometer because I didn't want to mess with electronics, didn't uh, put in any way to uncouple them, but uh, we'll see. So now that the dash is out, I can go through and find some of the things that I don't need. For instance, like this ducting. This isn't gonna be a full race car stripped down. I still need to maintain everything to make it at least semi road legal. I'd like to eliminate as much as possible. Uh, and it's a lot easier to see what I can and can't eliminate now that I'm looking at it like this. Before we finish with the dash, I'm gonna button up the engine bay, but that leads us to an interesting discovery. So I figured out something that is gonna solve like two or three of my problems. We're gonna do a heater core bypass. These two lines back here are running coolant into the cabin underneath the dash to a small radiator. It's the reason that the heater seems to be working even though I've eliminated the controls and things like that, because the coolant is still being pumped into that heater core. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these lines and just, boink, reverse one, and put it into where the other one is coming from.
<sighs> okay, so the piping has pretty much defeated me for today and the dash isn't even put back together yet. So this is gonna be it for today. Start again fresh tomorrow. So, since the coolant has been rerouted, I can now focus on pulling out the heater core, which should save us some weight. It is under here, and I think there's a couple other components with it we can pull out as well. Sometimes when working on cars, you need to know when to use finesse and when to use brute force. And that's a lesson that I probably still need to learn. But regardless of the right way to do it, the heater and AC components are slowly but surely making their way out of the car. Okay, so I know this, I said this episode was gonna be just uh, a little bit of cleanup. And as you can see, it's escalated. I would love to pull out that whole unit, like this whole white housing thing. Um, I could break it on the way out, honestly. Like, there's no reason to keep it. Like I said, sometimes finesse, sometimes brute force. Okay, so the AC and heater components are all out. Radio components are all out. Everything that was under this dash that isn't integral to driving the car and knowing what's going on with it are all out. Now I'm just hoping I remember how to put it all back together. Okay, so we did a lot to the car today. I'm gonna to start buttoning up everything, making sure it works. We are still not ready to actually drive this yet because this project has created its own smaller projects. For instance, this hole in the firewall where the AC components used to be is now a hole in the firewall and I need to get that covered because it's a hole in the firewall. So we're just gonna get the car running, but there's still some stuff to button up. Well, that's it for this video. I know this was kind of just a maintenance video. We're not exactly installing cool new parts, but A, we got a lot of things done that were very important. Uh, we lost a lot of weight up in the front. We rerouted the coolant in a way that it's gonna keep the engine, uh, keep the coolant in the engine. We fixed our hissing throttle body issue, and we started to address some of the larger problems with the car, but there are plenty of things that can get installed in the future. There are plenty of other projects to, uh, to get to with this. There's like two or three of them right over there that I can't quite show you yet. There's actually maybe one of them down here that I don't know if we'll go on this car. Um, 
but uh, you'll see, you'll see, uh, because I'm gonna definitely make another video.